the Hobart Skies oblige for play on day three, as the South Africans picked up where they left oh, nice off shot. on day one. Really nice shot. Quinton de Kock piled on the runs, as both pace... He bowls full and it's nicely clipped through the onside. And spin was subject Jenny to the comes, inform Proteus batsman. De Kock at his best. De Kock and Bavuma both reach 50 as the pair piled on. Four runs, beautifully done. The latest of late cuts. De Kock going at a rate of knots. Oh, geez, time that. Warner decides not to dive, but chase. And he loses. The 23-year-old reached a 139 it's ball century, the, the second of his test career. Cock. Australian torture is South African joy. And it looked likely to continue. Another boundary for uh, De Kock. Before Hazelwood got the breakthrough. Got him! Josh Hazelwood makes the strike. Philander joined the party. After lunch. And that is a disappointing start. But Bavuma was undone. Joe Many oh, claiming his first nice. test wicket. Out and finally is out. So Joe Many has his first test match wicket. As Philander carried on, Josh Hazelwood nice. ran riot. Bought him! That's LBW. Yep, no problem with that. Claiming the final three wickets to finish with six for the innings. South Africa all out for 326. Applause. Trailing by 241 runs, Australia got off to the worst possible start. Oh, he's got an edge on that. I reckon he's flicked that down the leg side. Yeah, yeah and they're reviewing it straight away. Clear spike and a little tiny hot spot. Change of decision. Warner could only smile as he survived this ball. Oh, that is an absolute beauty. Well, David Warner can smile about it because I don't think he can hit that ball. That was going down the leg side. It's gone like an off spinner. Kawaja and Warner then consolidated, stringing together Australia's best partnership so far. Well, he's got that away, David Warner. It'll be four. The two picked Not apart made. the tourist bowlers before Warner was bowled in the most bizarre of circumstances. Back on the stumps, that line, that tighter line has worked. Smith continued the run as he and Kawaja negotiated the rampant bowling attack, with Kawaja reaching 50. Ah, it's a test of character out there. And at the moment, Usman Kawaja is dealing with it very well. He goes to 50. 91 balls face, seven boundaries hit. But as things neared the close, the umpires decided that the clouds had won out, with the lights dimmed on day three at Blundstone Arena but uh, South Africa still very much in front in this test match.